Hi, I'm Nick from Australian Native Beat. Today I'm going to talk to you about making micro colonies. Making micro colonies is something that I've always loved doing um, because it teaches you how to really take care of stingless bees. If you can make a micro colony and keep it alive through winter, you're doing very, very well. Uh, micro colonies are colonies of stingless bees that are built using the minimal amount of nest structure and bees that you need to create a full running colony. Uh, so the things that, that a micro colony needs are pollen, honey, wax and bees. If any one of those four things becomes in short supply, your colony will suffer. So you start by adding all those things and then you continue to watch and maintain your micro colony. If one of those things runs out, you're gonna have a problem. As well as all that, you'll have to watch and protect your bees from pests. Um, but we'll do, today we'll do a tetragonula and an ostroplebia and I'll just show you what I add when building a micro colony. I hope you enjoy. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to um, clean these hives out. This is an old hive that I had problems with the colony in and I want to recycle this for my micro colony. Now, how I do that is actually um, burn it. I burn anything. If you keep an old, a um, a new colony in a box which has had pest problems and still maintains that smell you will continue to have pest problems coming back to that box every time you try and start a colony unless you clean it and treat it. <laughs> Once you've finished and your, and your box is treated, it'll look like that. And the next thing we're going to do is actually help the bees by sealing up some of the joins in the hive for them. And what I've got here is just a little block of native beeswax. This takes quite a long time to gather. What you want to do is just roll it around in there just to seal up any of the corners. You don't have to go too crazy. Okay, this is what your hive will look like afterwards. I'm just using the last bit of resin here just to put around the entrance hole in there. All right, so this is what I've done. I've, I've actually come in, I've had a look in here. There's not a heap of brood going on in there. And what's going on with this colony is they're, they're turning over a new queen. Ostroplebia like to do this in the winter um, so that they have time to rear and get a queen happy uh, by, uh, by the time spring comes around. Um, and it's a good time to look for uh, queen cells, virgin queens, things like that. Anyway, this is what I've got in the micro colony we're building. Now, with Ostroplebia, you need about 300 bees for a micro colony to go ahead. Um, and also, I know I say don't add honey and pollen. I have put a little bit of pollen in here. Um, and a wincy tiny bit of honey um, so that these bees can have something. What I'm going to do now is actually do a swapperoonie with this box because I want these these bees will be fine they've got all their stores and stuff but I want the workers to fly out and return to this micro colony here so that's what I'm going to do maybe add a few more things and then just leave that colony here 
and move this, the location of this colony to a different spot. Okay, I'm just going to move out of the way and show you what happens. This is the micro colony put where the mother colony was. And you can just see what's going on is the, the bees that flew out of the hive are returning. And they're a little bit confused because they know that the smell of this hive is not the same. Uh, it could take them about half a day to really get used to this new hive. But eventually they'll go in there, they'll find that the uh, brood smells the same and they will work to make a colony. So just to show you, I didn't add anything else into this colony. It's still those same things. I did shake a few more bees in there, but we'll just leave this one. Okay, now we're gonna do a tetragonula. This is a very strong colony that I've picked out. It makes a lot of workers. Okay, you can see that it's pretty insane here with the amount of bees um, that are upset with me being in the colony. This is basically, it's come out so clean, this is basically what I'm going to take. It is the advancing frontal currently where the queen is laying. Uh, the mother queen is actually in here, I saw her from the other side. Um, that's an older brood. Uh, I'm actually going to take this and build our micro colony with this. Um, so I'll put that in there. Then I'm going to take a little bit of pollen now with uh, tetragonula you're going to not you're going to need a thousand workers roughly as opposed to the ostroplebia that only need 300 these bees need more workers to survive so I'll get a little chunk of pollen out I'll add that into our micro colony I've actually reduced this box size this did have a top thing but something that's really important when making micro colonies is having a really little box to start with. You want the lowest uh, box you can have. Um, lowest level, I mean. So separate your levels. Don't put them in a big box. Like, don't start that little piece of brood in this box and that box combined. Just in a little box. And that will help. Okay, so this is what I've got there. That pollen looks largely open, but it, they hadn't capped that yet. So that's all we've got in there. Bit of resin down there too. Next thing I'm gonna do is actually put the bee comb from the old hive into the new hive. Now, this is where the mother hive was. So I'm just gonna show you what happens when I put our little micro colony back here. You can see because that tunnel was transferred that these bees don't seem to have a problem uh, finding their way back in um, because the scent of that tunnel is the same. So that's a, an advantage to having a removable entrance. And so yeah, that's the tetragonula microcolony starting. I just want to show you guys one more thing before I finish this video. I wanted to show you this hive. This is a micro colony I actually built by using bees. I built this about a week ago and I used bees from six different colonies to build this. I'll let you guys figure out how I did that with your own playing around. But as you can see, it's just insane the amount of work they have done for a week. Thank you.